Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well today we are going to be checking out the latest offering from Finch Knives. This is the Cimarron. Now they released the Cimarron this month, they released the Holiday last month, and you guys know, I mean I pretty much, that Oxbone Holiday pretty much blew me out of the water. Now they come back at us with the Cimarron. You know, just another really, really good knife from Finch. But let's talk about what we get in the box real quick. They're always hooking us up. I really like how they do the knife specific stickers. Yes, indeed, I am digging that a lot. You know, I like my swag. Of course, we have the Finch sticker as well. Look at him. He's got the Runtley. The first, the Runtley, the first Finch. Of course, we have a warranty card. Very cool. And they send us a Band-Aid because, well, rule number nine is always carry a knife. Rule number ten should be always carry a Band-Aid. At least in my case, anyway. But this is the Cimarron. Now, as the rest of the Finch line goes, so does the Cimarron in the fact that it draws its inspiration from something specific. And when we get to that portion, I'll kind of point it out. If you know about the Cimarron, you kind of already know. But we'll talk about it here in a little bit. As you can see, I have the blue and green layered G10 selection. Perfect for the Pacific Northwest. For those Seahawks and Sounders fan, those colors fit right in. Now, they also come in a gray and yellow combo, a black and gray combo, and a dark green and tan combo. So, some different choices, which is, that's... Finch has always given us choices, which is very, very nice. But as I said, you can see there, you've got the green and blue layered G10. You've got the blue backspacer. Now, you do have stainless steel liners under it. As you can see there is your liner lock. No lanyard hole on the Cimarron. No, that's all right. Now, the pocket clip. Now, we're going to have a titanium pocket clip which is really nice and you know this gives it a little bit of a little bit of flair but I really really like the look and just the shape of that pocket clip we'll talk about the carry here in a little bit but I, I do I think that's a really nice looking pocket clip now it is a flipper we've got jimping all around jimping is pretty darn good yeah it grabs the finger just enough as I said, liner lock. Oop, let's check our centering. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's pretty much dead on. So now, oh, yeah, that action. It's a dropper, guys. Detent. Man, detent is, detent is pretty much perfect on this one for me. Oh, yeah. Just slaps right open there. Nice drop on it. Very very good action. Now, we open it up. We got a 14C28N blade. You guys know I am all over that. Got a nice bead blasted finish on the blade. We got the Finch logo there. Obviously, you did see you got the 14C there, the Cimarron. Very, very good. Now, I will show you something. You're going to see, I won't show it to you here, but you're going to see some. I'm going to show you another knife that I got from Finch that I really like what they're doing with the with the the company name, the metal, all that. They're they're doing some a little bit of different stuff, which I'll point that out when we when we see it on the next Finch video. But not bad. It's right there. Nothing nothing too terrible. I mean it's a small blade, small lettering. There you go. I didn't show you that earlier. Yep. We've got the shield. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't want to put the light out there. But you do have the illuminated shield on the Cimarron. Back to the blade though. As I said, getting myself off track. Nice bead blast finish on that blade. Now this is where I see the inspiration coming in. The inspiration for the Cimarron is the big, you know, uh, wind the wind farms that you see uh, pretty much all across the Midwest anymore. 
And this blade really reminds me of the blade you on those big wind generators. You know, electri electricity generators, the wind farms. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. But anyway, I hope you get the idea. It, it really does. It, that blade pretty much just matches those blades that you see. And that's one of the things I really, really love about Finch is they just bring... They bring the inspiration to life through, through their knives. And that's just, that's absolutely cool to me. Uh, let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do some, let's do some size comparisons real quick. Well, you know what? We're just going to do this one right off the bat because, well, it, the PM2 is obviously a much bigger knife than what the Cimarron is. But let's get to some knives that are pretty, pretty close. How about the bug out? Yeah, that's definitely a pretty pretty close comparison. The the Cimarron might have it by just just a hair. And then let's see. How about a Rat 2? Rat 2 is a pretty popular model. That gives you a decent idea. There again, it's got it by about yeah, about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Pretty close. And then, how about the 945, the Mini Osborne? Now, the Cimarron's definitely got the Mini Osborne by a decent amount, a good, probably close to a good inch. So, what are the overall specs on the Cimarron? Well, what are we looking at? We are looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right about 7 it, officially, they call it 7.9 on the site. Yeah, I mean, I get, I'm get i getting kind of more like 7 and 3 quarters-ish. That's kind of what I'm getting. I mean, it's right up there. Well, 7 and 7 eight, so yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, full handle length, you're looking at pretty close to 4 and a half-ish, 4 and 3 eighths. Blade length, you're looking at right about 3 and a half on the blade. And then your cutting edge, there you go, three inches. Those of you with the three inch blade limit, you should be in. And of course, our grip length. For a smaller size knife, we're getting almost four full inches of grip length out of this knife, which is really nice for those little bit larger hands. That's how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. And as you can see, I have plenty of room left over. So that is one thing that I really like about the Finch. I mean, it's almost eight inches, so I mean, it's not a small knife, you know, but it, I guess the slenderness kind of makes it appear like a smaller knife, but you've got a decent amount of handle length there. Definitely, definitely like that. I'm going to move my stickers just for a little bit, because I'm going to get my scale out here. We're going to get a weight. We're going to see what it talks. What's it say to us? 87 grams or 3.1 ounces. Yes, indeedy. We like that. Really good weight. Really good weight to blade ratio as well. I mean, we're talking a, you know, what? Three inch blade. Well, three inch cutting edge. Three and a half inch blade. And 3.1. That's not bad at all. Not a deep carry clip. But where we're sitting right about that half inch sticking out there. Nothing too Nothing too bad. Pretty standard for what we normally see. Now we can get our stickers back out there. Overall, what do I like? What do I don't like? Well, I tell you what. Right off the bat, you know I like the inspiration and how Finch brings out the inspiration in their knives. Um, the overall construction of the knife, it is super comfortable. Um, really, really nice in grip. Like I said, that clip really it's really good in and out of pocket it was for me uh, no issues there absolutely no issues with the clip in the grip nope nope love i love their overall profile the slender profile you guys know i'm kind of more into the more slender knives so this one definitely speaks to me in that aspect um qsp built knife and yeah I mean, overall, 
it's just a well-constructed, well-built, well-thought-out, you know, it's like I said with the holiday, from inspiration to execution, Finch knives, they just have it for me. They're just doing it for me. I've liked pretty much, well, not pretty much, I have liked every single model that they've put out. And you know what? The Cimarron has just kept that trend going. Uh, good grip. The jimping on the blade, yep, locks me in. It's done. That's To me, that's about jimping done almost perfectly, uh, I, to be perfectly honest with you. It locks me in. It's not too aggressive, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. The choil, yep, your choil definitely extends right up there in front of the plunge. So, not, definitely not a forward finger choil. It's a sharpening choil. Um, you can get up on it if you want to, you know, hug your flipper tab there. That's kind of your protection. But if you want to get up there, you certainly can, but you're definitely going to have to, going to have to watch it. Don't want to creep too far forward. Or you're you're going to get bit, you know. So, sharpening choil, not a finger choil in my eyes. Overall, you know what? We're giving it, we're giving it a definite 8.5. It's a good, solid, well-built knife. And it's actually funny. I actually had somebody ask me. This guy sells, the Cimarron sells for 89, right about 89 bucks, right? If I remember, let me look. Yeah, $89. That's what it sells for. And I had somebody ask me on my unboxing video, is it worth it? And I gave him the most honest answer I could give him. It's worth it to me. You know? Construction, inspiration, everything about that knife. I mean, most a lot of people aren't in for the inspiration and all that stuff. They just want a knife that cuts. Well, it's definitely a knife that cuts, and it's going to cut with a pretty darn good blade steel. At 14C20N, one of my favorites. So, yeah, is it worth it? It is to me. It rated. We're going to rate it at an 8.5. Good, solid knife. If you have the opportunity, yeah, I'd say pick one up. This one, now I will say that this one was provided to me by Finch. Absolutely. Spencer... Spencer is an absolutely wonderful individual, and he he just keeps me in Finch Knives, and I'm so grateful for that because they're absolutely awesome. And I can honestly tell you, if he didn't, I would buy them myself. Absolutely, they would find their way into my collection. No question, there's a reason they were my best new knife company of 2020. I don't know how much how better I can explain it than that so thank you guys very much for joining me talking about the finch knife cimarron today as always guys i greatly appreciate it thank you very much once again spencer and thank you guys for checking it out remember like subscribe leave me that comment you know i love talking to you until the next time guys i'll talk to y'all later Bye bye